Bereshit chapter 21 And Yahweh visited Sarah as he had said, and Yahweh did for Sarah as he had spoken. So Sarah conceived and bore Avraham a son in his old age, at the appointed time of which Elohim had spoken to him. And Avraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Yitzchak. And Avraham circumcised his son Yitzchak when he was eight days old, as Elohim had commanded him. And Avraham was one hundred years old when his son Yitzchak was born to him. And Sarah said, Elohim has made me laugh, and everyone who hears of it laughs with me. And she said, Who would have said to Avraham that Sarah would nurse children? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Avraham made a great feast on the day that Yitzchak was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Mitzrian, whom she had borne to Avraham, mocking. So she said to Avraham, Drive out this female servant and her son, for the son of this female servant shall not inherit with my son, with Yitzchak. And the matter was very evil in the eyes of Avraham because of his son. But Elohim said to Avraham, Let it not be evil in your eyes because of the boy, and because of your female servant. Whatever Sarah has said to you, listen to her voice, for in Yitzchak your seed is called. And of the son of the female servant I also make a nation, because he is your seed. And Avraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water, which he gave to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, also the boy, and sent her away. And she left and wandered in the wilderness of Be'er And the water in the skin was used up, and she placed the boy under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat down about a bowshot away, for she said, Let me not see the death of the boy. And she sat opposite him, and lifted her voice, and wept. And Elohim heard the voice of the boy, and the messenger of Elohim called to Hagar from the heavens, and said to her, What is the matter with you, Hagar? Do not fear, for Elohim has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Arise, lift up the boy, and hold him with your hand, for I make a great nation of him. And Elohim opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the skin with water, and gave the boy a drink. And Elohim was with the boy, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Mitzrayim. And it came to be at that time that Avimelech and Pichol, the commander of his army, spoke to Avraham, saying, Elohim is with you in all that you do. And now, swear to me by Elohim, not to be untrue to me, to my offspring, or to my descendants. Do to me according to the loving commitment that I have done to you, and to the land in which you have dwelt. And Avraham said, I swear. And Avraham reproved Avimelech because of a well of water which Avimelech's servants had seized. And Avimelech said, I do not know who has done this deed, neither did you inform me, nor did I hear until today. So Avraham took sheep and cattle and gave them to Avimelech, and the two of them made a covenant. And Avraham set seven new lambs of the flock by themselves. And Avimelech asked Avraham, What are these seven new lambs which you have set by themselves? And he said, Take these seven new lambs from my hand to be my witness that I have dug this well. So he called that place Be'er because the two of them swore an oath there. Thus they made a covenant at Be'er and Avimelech rose with Pichol, the commander of his army, and they returned to the land of the Philistines. And he planted a tamarisk tree in Be'er and there called on the name of Yahweh, the everlasting El. And Avraham sojourned in the land of the Philistines many days.